Apparently it is, because I didn't have to burp before that. I do now, though. Hi, everyone. It's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today, I took a little ride to the Walmart store, and I'm going to put the little video of that and the little chicken that I cooked. I'm going to put that in right here. Got to go get milk. So I guess we're going to go to the store and get my half and half. Got my keys, got my mask, and I'm on my way early. But I should have gone an hour ago. A lot of people ask me um, to show what it's like around my area. Well, when we're driving, I'm actually going to the store. And this is the, the traffic looks like this almost all the time. So when people say that there's nobody on the roads, there's really nobody on the roads here. It's rare. The only time you see a lot of traffic is at um, just about when the people are going to work. There's a car coming now down the road. There's one coming. I can actually see a car. Yay, there's one car. But the only time you see a lot of traffic is, oh, there's another one, is when there's um, people going to work. Otherwise, the roads are pretty empty. And this is how it is most of the times. And then there's a lot of truckers that will come down this road only because they don't want to go the throughway. So they'll go on this highway. This is what it's like. There's nothing. And I have to go at least 10 miles before I get to something. Well, we're entering a little college town. And here's what it looks like here. Very quiet still. It'll get busier when I get down by the red lights probably. But there's really not a lot of traffic in our area. So like a lot of things that are going on in the world are not happening in my little area that I live in. Which is good because it's rather quiet. Now this is actually we're in the village already. In the village limits. And it should be real busy but it's not. And this is how it is just about every day of the week at this time of the day and it's what time is it it's eight o'clock in the morning so there should be a lot of commotion there should be something going on there's not much going on we're going right down into the village it is deader than doornail normally it, um, before the pandemic if you came down here there'd be people having coffee probably people going to the gym but right now it's like this and this is 75 degrees at the fire station. What's my car say? I say 73 in my car. But this is this is the little village. This is what the houses or the stores, not houses. Oh, I got to shift again. Oh dear. Shift. It's not easy. I'm holding the camera and trying to drive. This is not easy. For those of you that drive, uh, you have mounts, I'm sure, for your cameras. I don't have a mount because I don't take you very often with me. We'll just coast through this. Hopefully this light stays like it's supposed to. But we're in the village. And I'm sure others are uh, thinking this is like a like country, well, like one of the side streets. Side streets are dead. This is, um, as busy as you're going to get. Now we're on a road that would usually have a little more cars than this, but as you can see, it's still pretty quiet. We're going to go to Walmart. Yes, that's where I'm going to go. So we're going to pull over here. And I'm going to shift because I have to shift. Florida car. 
Well, hello, Florida. I gotta shift so I can pull up a little more. Get in first gear. You that have automatics have it easy as far as traveling. Okay, now we're gonna go in this door. Ooh, I slid my seat back. And undo my seatbelt. Got my shield. <laughs> I got my purse. This big old bag. This is not easy. Okay, we'll walk into Walmart. We have a pickup here too, where they do the pickup. There's a few cars there, not too many. I will put you away though when I'm in the store because I'm not used to carrying a camera in public. This is kind of different. This is going to be the smallest haul ever. I got chicken. I buy the 10 pound bag of chicken. Got my half and half. Got some cheese. sharp cheese and some sour cream. That's it! And you put your card away. Those that don't put their cards away kills me because they could be right here by this and they don't even put their card away. I'll shove it in a little bit. And we're done. Home we go. Well, we're on our way home. That was a very fast trip. As you can see, there's still not much traffic, and I'm in the village. Oh, rather, that's a, that's a, oh gosh, I'm stuttering. It's a college village. And there's still, and there's our gas prices. Notice that it's $2.25 for gas. Gas has gone up $2.20 for diesel. Oh, that's no 220 if you get your car washed. <laughs> it's not diesel. Diesel's higher. But this is where I bought my car. What is that basil? And we're coming to a red light. This town has um, three red lights, I think. My town has one red light. A lot of red lights. I guess it changed. A lot of you do car vlogs. I don't I don't do car vlogs very often because this is not easy to drive and show you what's going on. I need the hand that's holding the camera to shift the car a lot of times. But you can see it's it's now it's later in the day there's a little bit more traffic but still not a lot of traffic we don't really have a lot of traffic in our area and that's why when I go someplace and there's lots of traffic it makes me very nervous see there's wear your mask stay home stay healthy and wash your hands <laughs> they have that shining but someday there'll be actual signs that will say that to keep your distance and wash your hands. And maybe they'll, they won't tell you to stay home, I don't think. Or maybe they will stay, say stay home. Go back home. Go home. I love that clock that's in the square there. They probably won't have the farm festival either because usually we have the farm festival every year. It's a really nice um, place for people to display their 
handiwork and their crafts that they've made. There we are. 77 degrees now at 8, 20, 8 32. Uh, it's early in the morning still, and I've only been gone probably a half an hour, 45 minutes at the most. And up here, we're getting close to where I used to work. I worked in this school right here. Right there's the school. And there's the playground. And we used to take the kids for the walk up this hill. We used to go around the block. And it was a nice block to go around. I've got a red light. I'm going to have to stop. Okay. Well, there's a little more traffic right now. Going the opposite way. tendency to want a snack so this is what I've been snacking on and I thought I'd show you today I've been making this every day today it's got a little bit of um, Parmesan cheese in there and I put some I put the cheese in some eggs I beat up some eggs and I um, put the chicken in there and this chicken is that chicken breast that you buy from Walmart and they're um, skinless chicken breasts and I keep them frozen until I put them in the pan and then I put them in the pan with a little bit of water until they're thawed enough to where I can slice through them then when I slice through them I make nice little cubes or pieces so that you just pick it up and nibble on it and because I've been watching Voon, she, Voon Chile she does a lot of cooking videos and right now she's in the in the shed wars also but anyways she would always put the montreal seasoning on this and so i decided i'm going to try the montreal seasoning and my goodness it's the best seasoning ever jim's gonna love it in fact when he comes home he'll be nibbling on this too and this is what i nibble on because sometimes you just want something jake you need to hold still your feet are making noise he wants to go out again, and so whenever he wants to go out, he does like a little dance. And um, so I'm going to have to leave and take him out, but I'll be back to talk to you, so don't go away. Well, I am back. I've got a little story I want to tell you now that um, it's going to be short because this video is already pretty long with the ride to Walmart and that. But when I was, when I was answering my comments... I was, uh, one of the comments from Lynn actually gave me an idea for a topic. And Lynn is My Goat Shed Life, is what her channel name is. And she had mentioned that her dog's name is Nellie. And it brought a story to my mind about a dog named Nellie. But it wasn't Nellie. It ended up being Rex and Pedro. And so um, Nellie wasn't the dog. I had to call my brother to make sure that I was right. And I said, I have a feeling it was Rex. And he and I, says, I said to Jim, how much do you want to bet he's going to say Pedro too? And he did. So what the story is, is we had, when we would go down to the field to work in the grapes or the berries or whatever we were going to do, or plant potatoes or whatever we were doing down the field at the, on the farm, we would open up the trunk of the car and the dogs would jump in and we would ride down to the land, get there, open the trunk up, and let them out. Well, this one time, they jumped, and then when we would come home, they would jump in again, and then we would let them out when we got back home. Well, this one time, we apparently forgot to open it up when we got back home. And we couldn't find Rex, and we couldn't find um, Pedro, 
and we kept calling and we kept taking the car and looking for them and calling for these dogs and these dogs made not a sound but every time we hit a certain spot in the road we could smell some really bad smells our dogs didn't smell pretty and so we would think well maybe they're in this area so we'd get out and we'd look around we couldn't find anything so then we would go back home and this happened for three days we were looking for the dogs couldn't find them couldn't find them couldn't find them so now it's the 4th of July and we we went on a picnic and we must have taken two cars because if we would have taken only one car we would have had to open up the trunk because we all wouldn't have fit in just the one car plus our picnic basket and the cooler and everything else that we took so we must have taken two cars and um, when we got to the park all of a sudden it dawned on my father he goes I think I know where the dogs are and he went up to the car and sure enough he opened the trunk and out came the two dogs Pedro and Rex yeah, Pedro and Rex, I keep wanting to say Nellie, but it's not Nellie. <laughs> Pedro and Rex came out of the trunk of the car, and they peed and peed and peed and peed. And we thought they were never going to stop peeing. They never made an accident in the trunk. They never peed in the trunk. They never did any of that in the trunk. They were such good dogs, and these are just farm dogs. And they never made a sound, even though we were calling their name. I wish they would have barked, then we would have found them sooner. And the people around us were just so... Um, happy that we found our dogs that they had leftover hot dogs and leftover hamburgers they were bringing them over and feeding the dogs and the dogs were eating this human food but that was the story of them then I was going to tell you the story about Jessica as a child because I also mentioned in one of my um, comments that I thought really thought Jessica was going to go into fashion because whenever we would go into the stores, she had to touch the material. She'd say, stop, and she'd want me to wheel close to the clothes so she could just run the material between her fingers. And she also would wear these crazy clothes to school. She used to, I used to let her dress herself. And um, my mother was there one time when she got off the bus and she goes to me, you didn't let her go to school like that, did you? And I go, yeah, I did. She had on some really crazy shirt with her crazy pants, and she really looked like a little gypsy, but she was so striped cute. Shirt or something with plaid, Pardon me? Striped shirt with plaid pants or something I don't know what like she that. had on, but it sure didn't match. Nothing matched. The colors didn't match. The print didn't match. And then she used to want to wear her hair really crazy, be dressing like her in her classroom. And I told her that's an honor that they're doing that. It's okay. Well, that's the end of this story, and this is the end of this video. So I hope you all had a great day, and I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye, Jim. Bye. <laughs>